Hi, my name is C.E. Pugh. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the National Cooperative Grocers Association, speaking to you today about a new owner participation initiative uh, underway, uh, being developed by Mark Goring and, and the Seabuild team. Really excited about the potential for this, uh, the areas of building and strengthening um, the relationship we have with our members about uh, their role as an owner and own, owning their co-op, serving their co-op, using their co-op, and belonging to their co-op. This is an area that's underdeveloped in our system. We've made great strides in developing our stores, uh, our, op uh, our operations. I think our stores are broadly cleaner, brighter, more energy efficient, our services improved, um, our varieties improved. Our businesses have improved dramatically uh, over the past several years. The ownership participation piece, however, is lagging a little bit, and I'm happy Mark, Mark and his team are taking this on. I first stumbled across what I think a great opportunity this is several years ago, working with a new startup co-op uh, in Minnesota. Uh, this uh, the community had about, a, I believe, a little over a thousand members uh, that had invested in their co-op. Uh, they raised almost a million dollars in uh, member loans. The store opened and was underperforming a little bit. Uh, some research and analysis of the membership purchase data uh, showed quickly uh, that only about half of the members uh, were shopping regularly at the store. So they were members, but they weren't using their co-op. More stunning than that to me was that about a fourth of those that had made loans weren't using their co-op. So the membership staff at, at that uh, co-op uh, began to contact a few of these people and, and try to find out what was going on. And, and what we learned was just stunning that, in fact, these folks in the beginning never really expected to use their co-op. Uh, they were just doing it because they thought it was good for the community. And while th their contribution, uh, their, their money was appreciated, the investment they made, the loan they made, um, it, no, it never occurred to me, never occurred to others uh, that people would in fact join a co-op, maybe even loan to a co-op, but not use that, use that co-op. And so that's a, that represents a great opportunity, uh, we think, uh, to, to, to strengthen our system, build our sales, build our business. Many of you may know that each year if you're uh, calculating your patronage refund and you run, the, you run the data for the member purchases for the year, and that's, that's always an interesting exercise to see who was the top purchaser and, 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 and what, what was the median and the average. And it's, and it's rather stunning that there's maybe 20% of the folks that are contributing 80% of your sales and, and, and they're using their, their, their co-op. Oh, but what is the disconnect? Why are the 80% of the members not really making uh, such, such good use of their co-op? It's an area that we need to work on. We do a great job at speaking uh, to our uh, owners as consumers. Uh, we're pretty good at that. We, we have sale flyers, we have brochures, uh, we have uh, activities and events all geared uh, to, the, to our owners as consumers. Great opportunity to start, and not, well, not to start, but to continue and improve our ability to speak to them as owners. Owners of a business, the same way if, if you and I uh, had an LLC or we own some biz business, you know, how would, our, uh, how would people speak to us as owners, maybe our managers? Maybe we own a, a gas station somewhere, just as an example, and we hire managers and we expect reports on how the business is doing. We should give that same consideration to our owners doesn't mean stop speaking as consumers. We, we, we have great stories to tell, uh, but, to, but to spend more time talking about what it means to be an owner, what it means to use, the impact, and I think this is the key area perhaps, to be able to make the connection for our owners, the connection between the impact the co-op can have in the community, the impact that, that most people find value in, whether it's supporting local producers, uh, supporting uh, uh, community events, uh, supporting uh, staff and, and uh, other local businesses. Our co-ops have great impact in the community, but that is only possible when our owners use their co-op. Second to that, uh, they, the ability to serve their co-op. We need member serving. A cooperative is a two-way street. Yes, there's this business that provides services and goods and value, but it's only as strong as the service provided by its members or 
by to the degree that the members use that service. That's what permits the co-op to exist. That's what permits it to have an impact in the community. And that's an area we need to strengthen. We need to include that in our information about membership. How many of our membership brochures today talk about how we're counting on the member to use the co-op? We're counting on them to serve the co-op. Not all, we're very good at talking about the discounts or the sales or the patronage refund or uh, other, other benefits. And th those, those are all important. But we need to also talk about how the expectation that the, your co-op has for you as an owner to use your co-op and to serve your co-op and how can you do that? What are the ways to do that? And, and as a result of that, what impact that lets the co-op have? These are fascinating topics. We're looking forward to working with you, working with Mark and his team in developing and exploring and researching uh, this area a little bit over the next few years. I hope you have fan uh, fantastic discussions around this today. Thank you for letting me join you briefly. I look forward to seeing you soon.